Hey guys, I'm back in the studio with uh, Mike, and we're doing a commentary. That say it right again? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to be a big guy before you know it. <laughs> On some uh, old airbrushing and stuff that uh, I've done in the past. But uh, that's pretty wild. That, that's a, it almost looks like a Louisiana swamp right there. Yeah, yeah, and it is in Louisiana. That's uh, it's down in Baton Rouge, and uh, a lot of people down there get excited about uh, artwork and stuff. Um, a lot more than you find here in Northeast Louisiana. But uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun too for doing that, putting your imagination on metal. This one here was called the uh, Widowmaker, and it was a race truck and uh, did for them. And this is at a uh, arts and craft thing that I went to to do some t-shirts and stuff. That's all right. See what, that's, uh, that's almost a lost art nowadays is that airbrush. Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know if it uh, ever come back again like uh, bell bottoms and uh, dingo boots or not. <laughs> Well, actually, I think the bell bottoms are coming back. Really? Yeah. That's great, man. Yeah, I noticed people hung on to the peace sign, and that's good. You know, there's some supporters out there all these years. But, uh, yeah, it'd be nice to see airbrushing or, or something like that come back. Like the Arizona desert. Yep. That is off the Pure Prairie League album cover. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I like their music. Really do. See the hood's off of there. I'm painting on it too. That's the hood back on the truck. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, and that's the tailgate. I like the wood grain. Yeah. I love doing wood grain. Yeah. And everybody has their own technique. They do. It's it's yeah. so many different ways of doing wood grain, it's it's uh it's really freaky. Yeah, you can almost create your own style to a degree. This is some valve covers. Uh a guy traded me some uh, chrome valve covers for a three fifty one Cleveland if I'd paint little murals on his valve covers. Because it's for a show truck that he uh he'd enter it into uh down there in New Orleans, the uh, world of wheels that came through. That'd be a good place to do some of this work, too. For real, Set yeah. Up. South Louisiana people, back during this time, they loved it, man. I mean, you're almost like a, 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 a airbrush god, god in a way, you know? This is very, very popular still in California. Wow, uh, wow. Just depending on what it is. Yeah. Generally speaking, they don't do a full body uh, mural. Yeah. But uh, there's a lot of, like the uh, the little low riders that uh, you do the candy paints with some uh, some patterns underneath. You do some airbrushing and some custom stuff. Yeah. Wow. But this is so they do more stuff. accenting now than they do complete wraparound murals. And uh, well, no, actually, there's still the wraparound murals, but they do the candy paints and stuff like that, and then do some uh, some other stuff on top. So it kind of just throws that paint right into the background. Yeah. Okay. So you kind of yeah. walk up on it and be surprised. Yeah. I mean, you can tell that it's got something on it, but once you get up there and you look at it, it almost looks like they've melted a, a Jolly Rancher and poured it over the wow, top of the paint. Wow, man. And they just look really awesome. I bet. Yeah, I always like going to the car shows and stuff and seeing vehicles that's been uh, tricked out and, and somebody's used their imagination on it and setting a good theme for whatever, you know, the theme is they're, they're, they're setting for their vehicle. Right. Yeah, now some of this stuff here can really be tedious and uh, take up a good bit of time. I can definitely understand that. I airbrushed a, uh, a Harley 
front fender one time did a uh, a rattlesnake. Wow. And it took me over a month. I believe it. To paint that one rattlesnake, but I had to do it one scale at a time. Yeah, yeah. And it just, it turned, but it did turn out fantastic. Yeah. It, uh, people would get startled when they'd walk by thinking it was a real rattlesnake. Wow, man, one yeah. Yeah, you, you, if you put a lot of time into something, it does show. And uh, doing it for a client, sometimes they'll they'll have the money to pay that, and sometimes they don't. And you still put them something on there, you know. Oh yeah. It has to be simple and quick, but and then some things you can really elaborate if they're going to be willing to spend the money in it. That or uh, that old good old barter system, you know how that. Oh yeah, you can always trade, make it make it work out somehow. Yeah, it just matters how much money they want to spend for your time. Exactly. That must have been some guy's uh, hunting rig. Yeah. Ooh, that looks, yeah, Chevy yeah. Love. This this is the Beauty and Beast uh, theme. That's on a little, yeah, a little Chevy Love, which I don't think that they made one or two years. And this guy went and bought the step side bed for it. Yeah, and I had one of those too. And this guy was a trade out. Uh, he started off. He would just start off putting the uh, the name of the truck, and then putting up uh, some uh, old school flames on the front. And uh, it excited him so much. We did some more uh, work, and then he wanted the uh, a scene uh, a mural on, on both doors. Huh. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a Tom Sawyer type scene. And then he wanted the truck metal flaked. Huh. It just went on and on. I mean, just it's almost like uh, a drive-through. I mean, what do you want? Fries? You want a milkshake? You want a hamburger? <laughs> you know? What do you want? You know? It's your meal. You know? Obviously, he got the bug. And just couldn't get enough of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's good to have some clients that are like that to just really get involved in it. Right. Uh, because then you get an opportunity to do what you like doing and uh, keep adding to it. Well, and you know how that old saying goes, if you're doing what you like to do, it's not work. So, and it's... Yeah, shows. right. And then you kind of, you know, if you visit with the person, you kind of get to know their personality. If they're not sure what they want, then you kind of match it a little bit, you know? Exactly, exactly. You did a really nice job on those, uh, on that wood grain. Yeah, that was, this one here was done for wood graining tool. Um, like we, like you said earlier, there's so many different ways of doing wood grain. This one had a lot of stencil work and stuff involved in it. H and M Street and Custom. Yeah. Ford Maverick? No, it was a Mustang, 67 oh, Mustang. Mustang, yeah. That's really cool, the ship, that's on an old Chevy truck. Yeah. Looks to be around a 54, 50. Yeah, it's somewhere, it is somewhere in that year, I believe, yeah. Now, this one was taken off of a picture that was hanging on the wall that the client brought and uh, wanted to kind of duplicate it or, or simulate it on his vehicle. Wow, we are running out of time. Oh, yeah, we are. Maybe you get, get all involved and you forget. Yeah, for real. Thanks, Mike, for being here. Hey, not a problem. Talk to you later. Bye. Viewing the video or giving us a like or subscribing makes us want to bring on a little more entertainment. Don't you agree?